All right, this is a 221, <clears throat> 221 Riverview. It's this little kind of double house here, kind of, I guess that's I guess like a duplex. It's the one on the right hand side here. There's some commercial stuff at the end of this road up here. Looks like most of these houses are little duplex houses. Speed hump right out in the middle of the road, right out front here. Siding looks a little old. Let's see the, uh, the awning up, up above this thing doesn't look super good. It's a little uneven, and the roof up top doesn't look doesn't look too great either. Chimney looks all right. Looks like we got a decent size, nice size yard here. Um, oh, I already locked this door. This is just a little front porch thing here. Metal windows around, and that door's locked in there, so we gotta go in the back. Siding over here looks good. Yeah, awning doesn't look super great. The uh, siding looks good though, and the windows on the outside look all right. Down here we got real old wooden ones at the bottom. A few missing bricks here and there near the bottom of the foundation. This box looks old and rusted, but all the wires are attached. Old windows to the basement there. Yeah, as you can see, is a good sized backyard here. Side yard and backyard. Alright, so. Um, this is like a dirt garage, it's got a garage door in there, dirt, it's on kind of this side of the fence and there's a car parked in front of it, I don't know if this is for this house or not, there's a shed here, that one's locked, old uh, swing set stuff here, and that's uh, some, some kind of storage thing locked in here. It cracks on the on this thing. Another one there locked. Damn. Okay, so I guess the entrance to the basement is one of those outside doors. <clears throat> I have to try it in a minute here because there's no stairs in here to the to the basement. So this is the front door. You can see the porch there. Um, one second. This front living room area. It looks like most of the place in here has got these wood panel stuff on the walls. This front living room area is 14 foot 4 by 12 foot 10. Vinyl window there with uh, it's got this weird wooden plexiglass glued up shit down at the bottom. Vinyl window here, looks kind of dirty, but handle broken. Uh, trim around the windows. <coughs> it's kind of chipped in a few places. Uh, the rest of the trim around looks all right. This window trim looks okay, I suppose. Uh, trim around that door's busted. Paneling on the tile, mismatched. This uh, little dining room type area it is 9 foot 11 by 14 foot 5. We got this window here and it actually looks like it's kind of like it's kind of curved inward. I don't know if it's the wall that's warping or what. We're on, on that window. Trim looks okay. Wood paneling around here. Tile stuff on the ceiling. Big patchy hole in the top there. I can't see that from upstairs I don't believe. Um, if you want this measurement here from the back all the way to the front, it's 29 foot 3. And we have this kitchen area. I don't know if this could be a, it could be considered the dining room area as well. This little square thing here is uh, 9 foot 4 by 6 foot 2. Um, the main part of the kitchen from this wall across is 16 foot. And then from this bathroom wall to the back, is 11 foot too. We've got this fake brick stuff around. Wall, it's like actually it's just wallpaper. Um, cabinets look a little old. Finishes coming off a little bit. Some of them are crooked. Um, 
counters look real old. Vinyl window there on the back. That's just that little kind of mud room that I came in. Vinyl window, vinyl window. Trim around the windows looks all right. Panel stuff on the ceiling. Um, the floors are very uneven in here. And I think uh, a lot of the rooms, the floors are pretty uneven. Bathroom, <clears throat> bathroom here. Big heavy tub, tub looks good. Panels around the bottom oh, and the top too, part of it. Wallpaper over some of them. Tile stuff on the ceiling. Looks pretty old, vinyl window there. Trim around the window looks pretty old as well. Not sure if that's a hole in the carpet in the floor there. These weird stairs things going here to this door and these stairs. Some nasty uh, plaster stuff on the walls all around the um, stairs here. This room, this level has three rooms on it. This is the front of the house. This room is 12 foot 10 by 14 foot 4. Vinyl windows. This one doesn't look super good. That one looks all right. Trim around the windows looks decent, I guess. Uh, it's kind of actually chewed up at the top here. Wood paneling stuff, tile stuff on the ceilings. Trim around the bottom looks okay. You can see the front of the uh, awning here. Yeah, floors are a little uneven. I feel like if I put a marble, it would roll. Um, this is the middle room. This one is 14 foot 5 by 9 foot 11. Ceilings all kinds of uneven up here. A uh, panel around the walls, tile on the ceiling. This window looks okay, I guess. Yeah, that one window looks good. Same chewed up uh, trim around the window. Trim around the bottom looks okay. <clears throat> There's a big peak right here in between these two rooms and then it goes downhill in this room. This room is very, uh, very downhill from the front to the back. This room is nine foot five by 11 foot one. Trimmer on that looks kind of a little bit chewed up as well. Vinyl window, broken handle on the window. Here's the uh, back shingles and awning. There's a busy road out there you can see from the, this back. The rest of the trim looks okay. Yeah, very bad hill in that room. And then the very top floor, we have same wood veneer panel stuff around everywhere tile on the ceiling. Everything's pretty, uh, everything's very crooked and uneven in this house. Final windows, they look alright. And this room is 15 foot 10 by 13 foot You can actually see a bunch of uh, cranes and stuff, like the shipping area, not very far from here. All right, that's uh, that's it for the inside. Except um, let me try and get in one of those doors out back, and I'll just go ahead and restart it.